Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Apex, which is a DEX. I don't say this a lot, but this exchange actually got me excited. To the point that I decided to trade most of my own personal capital on this exchange from now on. Now, in this video, I want to talk about why that's the case. I will also walk you through how to create your own account, make a deposit, generate your API keys so that you can trade it using Jesse for algo trading. And also, I will show you how the withdrawal process looks like. And at the end of the video, we're going to have a giveaway. So make sure to stick until the end. Now, on the first glance, you might notice that this exchange looks very similar to Bybit. Now, the reason for that is not exactly an accident. Um, apparently, the team behind Bybit, ever since they made KYC mandatory, they launched this DEX so that people who are not comfortable with KYC, they can move on here. Uh, but nonetheless, I actually like the team behind Bybit. That's my go-to centralized exchange for trading. So I'm happy that they are behind this project. Now, let's take a look at the main features. Now, they have lots of trading pairs. It's a DEX, which means you keep the custody of your funds. That's pretty awesome because we all remember what happened with the FTX, right? So that's actually the first reason why I decided to trade most of my capital here because you know in the case of something like FTX happening again I don't want to lose most of my capital also they recently launched this project called Apex Omni which is their next level uh, of trading services but it's very new uh, it's not mature enough for us to trade there so in this video we're not going to focus on that instead we will focus on Apex Pro which is their uh, mature trading feature um, and as I said, it's non-custodial, uh, it doesn't require KYC, so that's pretty cool, you can get started right away. It only supports cross-margin perpetual futures at the moment, so the isolated margin is not supported yet. And they support deposits and withdrawal from uh, a few layer 2 chains, also Ethereum. So that's also pretty cool, the maximum leverage is 30x. At the moment but under new service apex omni i think it's um, increased up to 100x but 30 is way more than what i use personally I, I never use more than two or three x so i think this is definitely enough for me and the settlements are instant now in other words the order execution is very fast okay it's near instant so that's awesome and the trading fees are the same as what you would pay on bybit itself so that's also pretty low and yes this is the dex but the gas fees are zero just like uh, how it is on dydx so that's also awesome now let's talk about the chains that they support they support a variety of layer twos for deposits so that's pretty cool because the gas fees on ethereum are, are skyrocketing and i'm not comfortable with them so i personally use either bnb or arbitrum or sometimes polygon uh, but let's get started with connecting my wallet they support so many of them i use metamask so now it's gonna ask me to switch the network to ethereum but it doesn't mean that i'm gonna deposit with ethereum so just go ahead and click on switch network and there we go we are connected even if it's the first time you're doing this it's still you're gonna have to click on the recover keys now the word recover in here is a bit misleading but just go ahead and click on it Click send request, sign, and we're in. All right now, it it's telling me that I can also add my email address to receive notifications, but it's not mandatory, so I'm just gonna close it, and we can start making a deposit now. So as you can see, they support two types of perpetual contracts, USDC based and UCT. Now, depending on whichever you choose here, the supported chains are going to change. So for USDC, they only support Ethereum, BNB, Polygon. So I think that's actually uh, all of them. But for USDT pairs, which is a bit newer, you can see we only have options for Ethereum, BNB and Arbitrum. So based on whichever stable coins you are more comfortable with make sure to choose a chain that's supported here so i chose bnb chain so that's the one i'm going to click switch network and as you can see i have options here for other assets as well 
So other than UCT, we also have UCC, BNB, and BUSC. However, as far as I know, if you choose any other asset, it's going to get converted automatically and you will still get UCT. So if you're not comfortable with that, like me, just choose UCT itself. And for the amount, I'm going to enter 100 bucks and click on the confirm deposit. Now, I believe on Arbitrum, the fees are even lower than this. It says in about 45 seconds, the deposit is going to be done. In the meanwhile, let's talk about why I chose this exchange over DYDX, because most of the things that I talked about uh, also exist in DYDX, which we added like more than a year ago to JC, but I don't really use it. Now, there are two reasons. All right, so the deposit is done. So as I was saying, I don't like DYDX for two reasons. The first one is that their support is absolutely horrible. So I have a huge number of emails that I sent them and they only responded to one of them. And it was a barely a reply. And whenever I faced an issue and opened like an uh, issue on their GitHub, they didn't answer. Even it's been like a year, I think, and my issue is still open. So that's the first reason they have bad support. But on the other hand, on Apex, their team has been very responsive on Telegram, email, and also on their Discord community. I think that's pretty valuable. The second reason is the liquidity. So for instance, here I have the Bonk token, right, which is a meme coin. Uh, I don't expect it to have like the best liquidity compared to something like BTC. However, if you look at the one minute chart on Apex, this is how it looks like, which is pretty normal, right? But if I go to DYDX, and remember that DYDX is actually more mature than Apex. They were here before them. And they're using the same tech. However, even though they are more mature, this is how the chart looks like. I mean, look at this. It's scary. So I don't want to trade on a chart with such bad liquidity. So that's the second reason why I chose Apex over DYDX. All right, so the deposit is done. If I come down here, I can see my total equity is now 100 bucks, and so is my available margin. And my leverage is set to 2x. Now feel free to adjust this however you like. Now we are able to start trading. So if I make something like 1000 bank token and click on buy, my order is executed. But it was almost instant execution. So I have my position here now. And if I want to close it, that's it. So it is much faster than something such as Uniswap, where the, the execution takes like a few seconds to finish. All right, so now let's go and generate API keys so that we can connect it to, into Jesse. Now here, we have two options, API management and bot key. Now don't let this bot key here fool you. That's not what we want. Uh, the one we want is API management. All right, now I already had an API here, so I'm going to delete that one and click on the generate API key. I'm going to give it a name, test one, and it's usually best to restrict the IP address to the ones that you trust, such as the IP address of your server. But for this demo, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And here, are my API key, API key passphrase, and API key secret. Now, I have a little surprise for you. For this demo, I'm gonna use the new dashboard of Jesse, which hasn't even been released yet, but it will be in the coming weeks. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I've been working on it for months, and I would like you to see it. So let's copy the API key and then go to my Jesse instant. All right, in the new dashboard, we no longer add the API keys in our .mv file, which wasn't really clean. So instead, we have this new section called API Exchange API Keys, which allows us to add as many keys as we like. So I'm going to leave it at Apex Pro Perpetual. And as for the name, I'm going to choose YouTube. And I'm going to paste the API key that I copied earlier. Now let's go back and copy the API key passphrase and paste it here and also copy the API key secret and paste it here. Now, we also need two other options, wallet address 
and a Sark private key. Now for the wallet address, I'm gonna have to copy this from MetaMask. And for the Sark private key, if I close this one, I can find it here. Now it's warning me that the Sark key can be used for trading and making withdrawals. Now the first time I read about this, I got a bit scared because I thought, okay, does that mean that if let's say a hacker gains access to my keys, are they able to make a withdrawal to their own address? And I did some research on this. I even asked their team directly and the response was that no, because you can, you are only able to make withdrawals to the address that made the deposit in the first place. In other words, you can only make a withdrawal to your own address. So let's click on, I understand. And it is giving us three values here, but on Jesse, we only need a Sark private key. And that's going to be the first one here. So I'm going to paste it here and add it here. Now, if I go to the live section now, now I, I can see whichever API keys that I've added before. Now for this demo, I'm using YouTube. So then I will choose a route. I'm going to choose, let's say, Soul USDT. The one minute time frame is fine. I'm going to choose a test strategy, which I wrote that will just execute a trade as soon as it's possible. And I'm going to leave the notification B, the paper mode is off and the debug mode is on. All right, let's run it. All right, so in about a few seconds, I'm hoping it will execute the trade. And it did, it submitted a buy, buy order. It got executed and now I'm sitting on a position. Now, if I go back to Apex, if we come down here, yes, here's my sole position for quantity of 0 0.7. And here's my unrealized PNL, which I also have here. And we also have two closing orders, which we should be able to see and here, if we go to this pair, yep, all right, everything seems cool. If I, you know, close it manually, which is something you better not do in production, I can see that it also got closed here. All right, so now let's see how making a withdrawal works. So let's click on the withdrawal button. I'm going to choose the same chain that I use for making a deposit, although you can make any other chain as you like. But I'm guessing if you do, it's going to take a bit longer for the withdrawal to be done. So I'm leaving it at BNB chain and I will choose the maximum amount. And the withdrawal fee, by the way, is $1 for uh, basically any chain other than Ethereum. So that's why I'm getting 99 bucks instead of 100. Now we have to wait for the withdrawal to be over. But the last time that I did this, it took about just a few minutes. So it's saying it could take around four hours, but I don't think it's going to take that long. All right. So while this is going, I just want to tell you that uh, if you use the link down below in the description for signing up on Apex, you're going to get 5% trading fee discounts, but uh, the main thing you would be doing is supporting Jesse as a project and me. Uh, and I cannot tell you how much I would appreciate that. It's a free way to support the project. So if you haven't already made an account, please consider doing that. And it's done. We also have the transaction ID here. We can validate it. All right, that's it. And this is my address. And I can see my money is back in my account. So there you go. This was Apex. I hope you guys liked it as much as I do. But before I leave you, I gotta say, we're gonna have a giveaway. So starting this video, I'm gonna give away 1 million bank token to a random person who likes the video, posts a comment and subscribes to the channel. And the winner will be announced in my next video. So you have a few weeks until then. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.